Well, welcome into our post-game report as uh, we are joined here by head coach uh, Bart Lundy. And coach, first off, congrats on the win. And uh, why don't we start from the end and talk about that Caleb Matthews dunk. You know, you see it from the freshman. A couple of guys, especially younger guys, getting good minutes there at the end of the game. What do you see from a class like that and then especially an effort like that from Caleb Matthews? Well, Mike, before we do that, we, we have to uh, we have to congratulate you on on uh, <laughs> on the job. Thank you, sir. And, I appreciate uh, that. And being here at Queens and we're we're so happy to have you and, and uh, welcome you with open arms and uh, great things coming. Well, great things coming. I, I tell you, I'm I'm more than excited to be here and fun to open it up with such a great game of basketball. And then again, to, to cap off the first broadcast with that kind of exclamation point, that was a whole yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, so. I, I can say getting you is like a Caleb Matthews dunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we send that off to ESPN too, as we saw the replay there. But uh, you know. Early on in that game, especially in the first half and the second half, some runs by Coker. You yeah. called some early timeouts. What were you saying to your guys in those early timeouts to get them back into that defensive prowess? Well, it was just our, our energy was bad. You know, we tried to we tried to set some metrics at halftime. You know, they came out in the first half and mm -hmm. had better energy than us. Uh, we tried to set some metrics at halftime, saying, "Hey, let's hold them to this. Let's let's do this. Try to challenge them a bit." Sure. Um, but I, I do think it wasn't our our best energy effort. Um, you know, we did enough to win the game. Um, you know, Coker is uh, coming off a shutdown. They've lost some guys. Sure. Um, you know, I thought they fought really hard. Williams, uh, Oniobi was uh, just everywhere. Yeah. Um, so hats off to them. Uh, but we, we've got to play with more passion, more energy. Uh, we did enough tonight in little stretches, uh, but that's not championship basketball. It's got to sure. be more sustained. and. Uh, I think I, I was nicely saying that in those <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the PC version of that yes, anyway, right? For sure. Uh, you know, so how do you use a game like this? Again, you, you know, you come off of you're expecting to play a top 10 team on Saturday. Yeah. You switch gears, play this team here tonight, and then you got another week off now until your next uh, next game, which is the postseason. So yeah. how do you use the game like this heading into the postseason for next week? Well, you know, we, we, we probably mismanaged it uh, because we didn't know we were going to have the time. Um, sure. You know, we didn't find out till Friday evening. We weren't playing on Saturday. So we gave them off Saturday, which looking back, maybe was a mistake. And, uh, you know, we had a decent workout, not great yesterday. Uh, but we've got to we've got to manage this week mm -hmm. better than we did this past week. Sure. Uh, and obviously we had prepped really hard for Lincoln Memorial and I thought we were ready to play. Uh, and, and there's a letdown, but there's no excuses now. You have to – Sure, you know, absolutely. You, you yeah. go home at this point. And, uh, but, but one of the great things, you know, you, you, you make uh, uh, lemonade out of the lemons. Uh, you know, we didn't get the chance to play for the, for the conference regular season title, mm -hmm. uh, which is really disappointing. Sure. Uh, re really disappointing, but we'll leave it there. Um, but we get to host as long as we win yep. all the way through the championship, and we could – if we can play our way into it, have a championship game on our home floor. Absolutely. And uh, you know, we we told our guys before uh, when we were when we were leading up to the Lincoln Memorial game that we held our own destiny in our own hands, and we still do. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and again, this time of year, you want to obviously be in that position to jockey for you know whatever it is, seating wise, all that kind of stuff. You know, looking at these next couple of days and heading on into this postseason. Does preparation change at all for you guys, when, or is it just more of the same, go out there, get better each and every day? How does that work? Yeah, w we definitely go out and get better each day. You know, that's going to be mm -hmm. always be our, our overriding philosophy. But uh, but it, it is tournament time, so, sure. you know, you, you add things, you, you tweak things, uh, you know, you want to have some surprises. Uh, you want to you, you got to be able to execute on out-of-timeout situations, yep. out-of-bounds. I think we lost out-of-bounds tonight, which is uh, disappointing. Uh, so, so those games within the game, especially, you know, we've got some shoring up to do. Uh, but I, I love, I love where the team is. Um, even though we didn't play well tonight, our, our spirit is good, uh, and I think we're we're going to be hard out. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with you. So, uh, coach, thanks so much for joining us here tonight. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the win, uh, and also just a you know retroactive congratulations on number three hundred for you. I wasn't here last week to congratulate you. <laughs> so, congratulations on that, and uh, you know, obviously, this team. Uh, has a whole lot of stuff to go, and they have their destiny in their own hands. And, Coach, we wish you the absolute best, and we'll be here next Monday to uh, root you on. So. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Absolutely. Coach, yep. have a great night. Thanks. You too.